it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and happy Saturday. So it is May I Scrap Lift You, and this is a series that I do on Saturdays with Moira and Sandy. And yeah, I scrap lifted Moira last week, and so guess what? I'm scrap lifting Sandy this week. And so I am starting with completely channeling my inner Sandy, right? So I grabbed her favorite stencil from Scrapping Reflections. This is the all-star stencil. And I took some Distress Oxide ink in Speckled Egg and just did a little bit. And then I took my embossing ink pad, plopped it on there. Now I'm popping on some opaque ink. I think it was supposed to be more white. It's pretty tan, but I still like it. Um, embossing powder. And um, I'm trying to just make it kind of in the center, kind of where my um, photo is going to go. And then I thought, you know what? I am going to leave the embossing in here because I love the magic when embossing powder changes and so I can totally just watch Sandy emboss all the time and mine you can barely tell. <laughs> I'm like the magic just isn't the same on film. So that's why it is sped up so much because you can't see the magic. I'm so sorry you guys. Oh a little bit there. A little bit. A little bit of magic happening. Okay still sped up and now I'm done. <laughs> so I am going to cut off this branding strip. I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of August, which is all Pink Fresh Studio because I need to stop hoarding. That, um, that is my plan for the rest of the year is to not hoard and to use my stuff. So um, I had really been hoarding Pink Fresh Studio um, I had quite a big bag of supplies, so I definitely wanted to dig into it, especially because I had just bought some new stuff, um, and I wanted to use it. I bought, um, the new collection called Happy Blooms, uh, and I got the majority of it from Paper Issues, uh, and I think there's still quite a bit left, so... You need to get your hands on this. Uh, Moira introduced it to me and I was like, oh, I need that. So I picked that up um, in the shop and you can pick it up in the shop as well. I do have a code that will save you 20% because coupons are always good, right? Everybody loves to save money. Um, so you ha just have to use my name, Crystal. Totally works. Um, so now I'm going to do... A bunch of layering. So Sandy doesn't have a ton of layering around her photo, but this is where Crystal comes in. And um, Sandy's definitely a more is more girl too, um, but my more is more tends to be paper related. Um, it is it's waning a little bit. I I have noticed that um, I don't think I use as much paper as I used to before. But I do love the dimension and just all the interest that that it happens when you layer up tons and tons of paper behind your photo. And then you can start tucking in all kinds of embellishments. So that's what I'm doing. I have a couple of Pink Fresh Studio 6x6 pads. And I am using them in those same blue and green and white color tones. Um, so I'm really sticking with, with uh, what I've got on my background paper. It doesn't really matter because my photo is black and white. It's just a, it's a great picture of my husband. Not so great of me, but um, it's a picture of us together. So <laughs> it's cute. Um, it's in black and white. It was taken at the rodeo this year. Um, so just kind of fun. And then, so I'm going to pop this up on some fun foam, and then I am going to add a doily because in Sandy's, she had a doily. So I want to bring that in as well. 
Now, because there is mixed media on the background, I figured it would be best to use some liquid glue as well. So there is that doily. I'm going to decide on that side. Um, and the reason that I decided on that side is because I didn't want... I liked the embossing on the left-hand side a little bit better. So I didn't want to cover that up. So that's why the doily goes on the right side. Plus, Sandy had hers on the right side too. Sandy had her title off to the left, and I am going to actually put my title directly on to my photo. So my title is going to be Summer Adventures. This is a Bramble Fox perspective. Just absolutely love, love, love their stuff. Um, totally got Moira hooked on it, which is super fun. <laughs> um, so amazingly, those are starting to pile up too. My stash is definitely piling up, you guys. So I guess that just means I have to scrapbook more. That's what I'm going to tell my family. Hmm. I don't want to tell them I have too much stuff though. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, not that I ever need an excuse to come out here, but um, sometimes it's good to have one. <laughs> so I am just going to go through some of the pieces that I have in my kit. I'm going to pull all the blues and all the greens. Um, I'm going to pull a frame and tuck it in here. And then I cut the part that you're not going to see. And I actually cut the little floral piece off and put that on. And then that little tiny piece, I'm going to stick under the little house. So that's kind of fun. Got to use that in three different spots, even though it was just one frame. And then... I'm going to look through the puffy stickers and just pull some leaves. And then I have these like enamel circles in my kit. And not all of them go per se with, uh, with what, I, what I'm scrapbooking. But I think that the nice thing with those is you can tuck them in if they have a sentiment on them that doesn't work. So I will bring those out shortly. Now, this was kind of funny because I liked this circle that said right here. And I was like, oh, I can cover up my buddy's face. And then I was like, oh, that looks terrible. It totally looks like I'm covering up his face. So then I had to add like a label piece and a heart. I was just trying to make it look organic maybe is the word. I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't want it to look like I was covering him up on purpose, even though I was covering him up on purpose. So here are those um, dots. So I have three, I have two blue ones and a green one. And then I'm just left with the oranges, which I will get on another layout. And so one of them says staycation and obviously we're not staying. I mean, we are at home. It's our hometown rodeo, but, um, so I just tuck that in. And then the one at the top says our squad, which, um, this was totally our squad and, and that could have stayed, but I did opt not to do that. Um, and then there is one and it says, you have a good heart. So I really liked that sentiment. So I'm going to leave that there. And then I grabbed some enamel dots and I just put the blues and the greens on them. And then I am going to finish it off with this acetate floral. And I just cut the blue floral off because I couldn't find a way to tuck the other one and I might need to use it. So, um, I will put that right there with that circle that says right here. So it just told me where to put it. That was very nice of it. I'm going to add a couple of sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps in Ocean of Teal. 
and that is going to do it. So I do have some close-ups. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you check out Moira and Sandy um, for this lovely series that we do on Saturdays. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to chat with you. And there is my layout. So that is going to do it, you guys. Remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye.